What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. Now today I am bringing you my choice for New Well Cigar of the Week and this week it is the Simply Stunning Balmoral Anado XO Petite Robusto. Now this is a phenomenal four and three quarters by 48 stick. It's very, very weighty. There's a lot of tobacco going on in there. And the reason there's a lot of tobacco in there is there's actually three different filler leaves. There is a Brazilian stalk cut leaf in there. There's Nicaraguan and there's also Dominican. You've also got a Dominican binder and a Brazilian wrapper. Now that wrapper leaf and the reason these are called the XO, which stands for exceptionally old, spelt with an X, is the wrapper leaf has been aged for 10 years. So you've already got that time spent you know just developing these flavors and letting those flavors really sort of build and mellow and intensify and just do all of those magical things that tobacco leaves can do a beautiful beautiful cigar it's got a real nice little cool almost flag flag tail end on there very very exciting to get into this one it's the first time i've tried this cigar so it's going to be a new for me as well as it is new for you let's stop talking let's get it cut and lit let's move on to the first third so guys, I'm just about into the first third of this cigar, um, and straight off the bat, the flavours I've been getting, there's some uh, real nice cocoa, there's some leather, and there's some earthiness, but that cocoa sweetness is, um, I think that's coming from the aged wrapper, it's got that sort of the crystallisation of those sweetnesses of the tobacco leaf have really come to the forefront, so that's the, the first predominant flavour that I'm getting. The draw is really, really nice, it's a little bit on the lighter side, but I think that just gives you a little bit more time to get those all of those flavours into your palate as soon as possible. Really Really, really nice you will notice this has got a slightly darker ash and again that's just from the age of the uh, the wrapper leaf that Brazilian um, wrapper leaf so that 10 years of age has really sort of developed this leaf into something very very special I'm gonna carry on with this let's see what the second third's got in store so guys, I'm just about coming into the second third of this cigar. The flavors have really picked up. It's moved quite into a more of a medium to full strength cigar. And the reason for that is the filler leaf, the Brazilian filler leaf in there, it's actually stalk cut. So as opposed to just cutting the leaves off the plant, then letting them dry, they remove the entire plant and all the leaves still attached on the stalk and then hang them up to let them dry out. And what you get is a real um, intensification of the flavors that come from that stalk. All of those good nutrients and everything continue to soak in to the leaves and really give you some very impressive and very very um not overpowering but very prominent flavors really really enjoyable that draws remained impeccably smooth it's just really really nice to draw on i've gone for a straight cut on this one um i've just fancied a little bit of a change but i think that's given me a little bit more control over the burn and a little bit more control over the flavors i'm going to carry on with this the band's about to come off let's take this all the way through to the end let's see what it's got so guys, I've just about come to the end of my time with this cigar today. The flavors in that final third, I've continued with that cocoa, that woodiness. There's a little bit of um, heat, that white pepper continued all the way through with that filler, you know, with that um, the stalk cut filler leaf, just giving that little bit more of intensity. Really, really enjoyable. Definitely something you're gonna wanna pick up for yourself. Maybe pick up two or three, let one age for a little bit. Um, I know these have had 10 years of age, but they may just, a little bit more may just give you a little bit more sweetness, you never know. Definitely something that you're going to want to pick up, like I said. Head over to the website right now. It's cgars.com. That's C-G-A-R-S.com. And if you've liked this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And let me know in the comments what you'd like my next cigar of the week to be. Until next time, please take care of yourselves. Peace.